9 Secrets to Keep Your Lawn Green and Healthy If you've ever wished your lawn looked like the lush green one on the other side of the fence, this video is for you. While some people's lawns seem to stay healthy and green no matter what they do or don't do, most homeowners need to put in a bit of work to keep their yard looking its best. Fortunately, with a little bit of knowledge about lawn care and maintenance, you'll be well on your way to having everyone on the block green with envy when it comes to your yard. Here are some great tips for how to maintain a green and healthy lawn. Number 1. Aerate Your Lawn Aerating your lawn is a great way to improve the health of your grass. It involves taking a tool that has sharp metal tines, or teeth, on its bottom surface and removing small plugs from the soil so that water, nutrients, and air can get into the ground. This helps prevent compaction when layers of soil get packed together, which can limit aeration and drainage. You should be doing this about once a year for a healthy lawn. But if you've got an older yard, or if there are issues with compaction that need to be addressed, then getting an aerator out more often may be necessary. Number 2. Water Properly While you may be tempted to give your lawn a quick watering daily, it's much better to soak it properly and less frequently. This encourages root growth, rather than shallow surface roots that become susceptible to drought, disease, and insect damage. Watering once a week during the hot summer months is usually fine for most grasses, but depending on the weather and soil type, you may need to water more often or less often. Also, the best time to water your lawn is early in the morning, so that the sun can warm up the soil quickly and encourage deeper root growth. Number 3. Don't mow your lawn when it's wet Mowing wet grass will damage the lawn and can cause you to miss spots, which can create an uneven appearance to your lawn. The clumping of wet grass also chokes out the rest of your healthy green grass, creating unwanted thatch underneath. So it's always best to wait at least 24 hours after rainfall or watering to mow your lawn. Number 4. Cut the grass at the right height The right amount to mow depends on the type of grass that you have and how high it grows. But for many types, this will be about 2-3 to three inches high. It should not be too short. Otherwise, your lawn will look bald in spots where the blades have been cut off just above ground level. But if it is too long, say 5 inches, then water won't easily penetrate into the root system, and your grass may turn brown in dry weather, or heat stress conditions, or both. It's also important to mow your lawn often enough that you're never removing more than one-third of the grass blade height at a time. Number 5. Use Natural Lawn Fertilizers For the best results, consider using organic fertilizers instead of commercial ones. You can purchase them at your local garden center, or you can make your own by using composted materials such as waste from the garden and even from your kitchen. Organic fertilizers are better for the environment because they don't contain chemicals that can harm wildlife and pollute soil and water sources. Hence, they're good for your lawn as well as Mother Nature. Number 6. Keep your mower blades sharp The last thing you want to do is tear up your lawn with a dull mower blade. A sharp blade can cut more grass per pass and will also have less of an impact on the soil below it as there is less friction between the ground and the blade. Most professionals recommend sharpening mower blades every one to two months. Number 7. Remove weeds regularly Weed control is a battle that never ends. If you don't take action, weeds will grow and compete with your lawn for nutrients, sunlight, and water. They can also spread disease to your grass. The good news is that there are several ways to deal with weeds on the lawn. One of the most effective methods involves pulling out the weed by hand or using tools such as a hoe or a cultivator, also known as weeders, to pull them up by the roots before they have time to seed. This method has been proven to deliver long-lasting results when applied consistently throughout the growing season. Number 8. Grass Cycle Your Grass Clippings When you mow the lawn, 
Leave your grass clippings so they can decompose and feed the soil. They contain valuable nitrogen and trace minerals, and also act as a natural mulch, helping your grass to retain water. Grass clippings also help improve soil texture and reduce the need for fertilizers. Number 9. Take care of pet problems. We know you love your pets, but they can cause quite a bit of damage to your lawn if not kept in check. One way this happens is when they urinate on the grass, which can kill it off and produce unsightly brown patches on your lawn. If you have pets that use the grass for bathroom breaks, this is something that needs to be taken care of immediately. Thankfully, all you need to do is flush away the urine from the affected area with some water. A lush green lawn is a source of pride. When properly taken care of, it can also increase the value of your property, so it's definitely worth the effort. And now you're armed with 9 secrets to help you keep it green and healthy. Thanks for watching! If you thought this video offered some useful information, give it a like and share it with your friends. It allows us to create more great content. If you want to see more videos from us, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video.